יכולים לראות איפה ניל השתחרר. מעבר לזה יש לנו פה את נעמה. turtles today. Uh, I think this is the, the biggest release that we've had in almost 20 years. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to see it uh, from, you know, an, an outsider, but to be really part of it and uh, really helping these turtles every day and feeding them and cleaning them and getting them rehabilitated and then seeing them go out to their uh, natural habitat is really just uh, exciting. <laughs> Look after our beaches, don't throw litter, pick up after yourself, be aware of your environment, because this is all we have. Last winter we received uh, more than 50 uh, injured uh, sea turtles suffering from soft tissue trauma. Um, the turtles are sub-adults and adult loggerhead and green turtles, so they are quite big, 30 kilograms to, to 60 kilograms more or less in size. Um, suffering from soft tissue trauma, meaning that they had uh, teared lungs, uh, edema in the lungs, uh, fluids in the inner ear, uh, apathic, the behavior is completely different from other injured turtles and we had to, uh, we, we found the, the, injur the, the, cause, the, the injury is actually soft tissue trauma by uh, uh, CT, by computer tomography uh, that we already know that, that from uh, uh, the last few years. The turtles have been in the rehabilitation from January, February until today which is almost half a year. In the beginning it was intensive care with a lot of antibiotics and fluid administration, uh, cleaning the turtles, cleaning the tanks, making measurements and uh, making notes of the amount of, of food that they, the in, they intake uh, until they are released. And now before they're released, of course, we do a proper cleanup, making a whole the whole measurement from the beginning, making sure they're really ready, that we're not making any mistake and we're bringing back the turtle 100% healthy. Uh, to, to, the, to the wild. So the turtles are being cleaned, measured, weighed, and then uh, released. Uh, some of the turtles are released with a satellite tag. Uh, the satellite tag is actually attached to the turtle with glue on, on the top of his carapace. And the idea is actually to learn more about the turtles. We know by, by the 
uh, by this tag, we actually know the position of the turtle for the next two years. So we can know if he's, uh, if he's eating or not eating, where is he going, where is he sleeping, what is he doing during the winter time. Um, so we can learn more about him and know where to make nature uh, reserves and uh, know how to protect the species in much uh, more detail. Soft tissue trauma uh, is caused by uh, underwater explosives. How does underwater explosives get to turtles? We don't know for sure, but we know that it could be from a uh, fishery. It's against the law, but unfortunately there are uh, countries among, around Israel that still use uh, explosives to, to, to catch fish. So that would be one thing. It could be military uh, exercises that is being done in the Mediterranean. Um, and I think that this is about it. We don't know exactly uh, what is the cause, but what we did find out is that uh, the turtles that we released after uh, rehabilitation, seven of them, we put satellite tags and all the seven turtles arrived from uh, Bardawil uh, Lake, which is in uh, North Egypt, in the Mediterranean Sea. So we assume, we really don't know, but we assume that uh, there's a chance that they are, uh, they are injured over there during winter time. We don't know why, we don't understand it completely, but this is what we know at the moment. I'm going to get you down in the hole of you. 